But how do you win every single civil war you start? Well, don't worry, sit back, relax and enjoy, because today, ladies and gents, we're going to be well, I suppose breaking the game. Now this is a flawless strategy and you'll notice I've loaded up an Iron Man game as Germany just to show it off to you. It's a flawless, perfect strategy and you will win every single civil war. Now I chose Germany to here today because they have a national focus of course in the new DLC which allows them to start a civil war very early on which makes it very good for demonstrating purposes. Also I would like to extend a warm welcome to anyone who's recently watched Toriel's challenge video which I set up for him because he has sent quite a few new people our way so if you're a new person in the community make sure to say hi in the comments and of course if you've been here for a long time make sure to give them a very warm welcome in the comments. Give them a bit of that British charm. Anyway, so what are we doing today? Well, we're going to group up all our army over in Ostprussen, I think it is, uh, or at least I think that's the German way of saying it, and we will be basically from the Civil War as early as possible. Now, it doesn't really matter what else you do with your time, you can set up your Germany, I don't know, go for a long game, produce a lot more equipment, set up some military factories, make sure if you do build military factories you are going into a civil war with the other side, so you want to build them up on the left side of Germany because that's where your troops are going to be, so that's just a little bit of spiffing advice for you. And on with the well, basically a guide, I guess, this video. Or is it a demonstration of an exploit? Well, I guess you'll find out. Anyway, we are 28 days into opposing Hitler, maybe 29. Now, what happens when you oppose Hitler? Well, when you oppose Hitler, a civil war breaks up. Basically, the kind of, uh, I, I suppose, old history side is that Hitler tried to invade the Rhineland, and the generals decided, you know what, let's not start World War II. And so they oppose him. Now, don't worry, World War II is going to start anyway. Belgium exists, and we all know they're the ones that secretly actually started it. So what are we going to be doing the player? Well, we're going to be waiting until we get up to probably about day 66. Now, you will be noticing I have 30 divisions, 30 very strong divisions. These are good divisions. Now, when you fight the civil war in Germany, you get half of the actual German military as well as an additional kind of like, I would say about 10 or 20 kind of like really crappy divisions. Uh, they've got free infantry in them. They've got 300 guns. They are terrible at fighting. The only difference is both sides have them. Both sides get this kind of like filler civil war division. It's not good at fighting, but it does hold quite well. Right, it's now day 64 and that's about time for us to move across to this next port. So we'll select all of our 30 divisions and move them over to the other side of Germany. Now it is quite a way away and so with the days we have left they should be able to stay out at sea. Now that's what it's really all about. We've got to make sure that our army is out floating around in the ocean somewhere rather than actually on land. So there we go, they are at port. Now I, oh, I felt like maybe I left it a little too close on us so I probably should have left it maybe one more day. But the issue I have here now is that they're just about to hit land. But nope, luckily we do tick over into the next day before they hit land. Oh, and there's my 30 divisions right there. Well, almost 30. Uh, we're down to 27. Three of them go missing. I, I can't really explain why that happens. But now we have 53 divisions in the Civil War. That's not bad. I can tell you that you're very much not meant to have that. You're meant to have actually about 30. That's the, well, that's the amount you're meant to have. And not only do we have more divisions, our opposition, Hitler, he has even less. And all of his divisions, that's right, each and every single division that he has is the crappy Free Infantry Division. This Free Infantry Division has, well, basically no attack power. It is one of the crappiest divisions in the game. I think... I think it's even worse than cavalry. Honestly, you could have free cavalry units and it would beat this free infantry unit division. Now, he does have, for some reason, a mountain division, which he just suddenly rapidly deployed immediately. But honestly, this will be the easiest civil war you will ever see. All you want to do is split up your line, cut it in half, and try and outcircle them. So you want your top army to go for the cutoff point here and your bottom army to kind of like trap the encircled troops. Now make sure you put some decent generals on. It doesn't matter if you're, I know, slightly over the unit count. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Christ, sorry. <clears throat> I got my voice went there. Yeah, I have a really bad voice at the moment. I'm terribly sorry. I know we've got a live stream tonight, but good God, my voice is going to be all over the place with that. I mean, I played it with Vale yesterday, and my voice was kind of going when I was doing that. Anyway, also make sure to grab this infantry expert ruler here, Friedend Schimmer, because he is incredible. Look at that, plus 10% attack, plus 15 defense. He is literally Jesus of leading troops. Anyway, 
You can now begin your attack because, guess what, the German military sucks. Um, all of these units are terrible in comparison to our own, of course. Our infantry are amazing. Also, don't forget who's leading you. We start off with, um, I don't know, General Otto something, I, I think that's his name. And he is a god. He gets like plus 10% um, attack or 10% defense on core terrain. And guess what, all of Germany is called German terrain. Which makes you kind of weighted or ready to win the civil war, but with this strategy you get all of your country's troops, so you are guaranteed to win a civil war. Now, what does this work with? Well, guess what, it works with the Spanish civil war. Basically, when the Spanish Civil War fires, you get a news article and you can begin the Civil War and you choose which side of the Civil War you're on. That's a nice thing to have. So, what do you do with that? Well, when that event fires, you want to quickly pause the game, get all of your troops ready and put them in the ocean somewhere. I don't know, send them off to an island and then quickly transfer them back from the island. That's what you want to do and trust me, it makes so much sense. When they're in the transit back, the Civil War will fire, it splits your army in half, but for some reason there is no army to split and you'll get the entire Spanish military. That's right, you get the entire Spanish military and the opponent gets nothing. That makes Civil Wars so much easier and so much more overpowered. Now, what's the kind of game breaking part of this? Well, it's not too breaking, but it's more for multiplayer purposes. If you have, um, God, what is the name of the new DLC? Uh, Waking the Tiger. Yeah, if you have Waking the Tiger enabled, you can use this focus tree for Germany and you can start a civil war. Now, the game basically kind of pities you because it realizes, it realizes that to have a civil war, Germany must have lost basically half its military. It's seen as a major setback for the player. So what did the developers do? Well, they modified it in a way so that whilst it is a setback, you can have a recovery. Now, what this exploit does is it gets rid of the setback. There is no setback. If anything, this war is quite profitable. You get a lot of army experience out of it. It's incredible. Also, all of the units you have suddenly get fully supplied when the Civil War starts. It's kind of broken in the fact that you can build up a huge army that you can't supply before the Civil War, and then suddenly when the Civil War fires, they were all supplied. Now, this could be exploited in a multiplayer sense to provide you a limitless amount of infantry equipment. I haven't personally tried it out, but it's there. Now, of course, this isn't really an exploit for multiplayer because you can easily see if someone's attempting this or planning this because they've got the focus tree, they'll have a rather large amount of military, and just before it fires, they'll move all of their units out into the ocean. Now, it is quite easy to spot, so don't worry. I don't really think you're going to be seeing too many players actively going around glitching civil wars. Now, there we go, we've just won our civil war, we've jumped in, seized Berlin, and that's the civil war over, because guess what, Hitler's just died, he's given up. But yeah, this is probably the fastest civil war I've ever seen um, in, I don't know, Hearts of Iron 4. It's been really easy, and the, the kind of impact of this exploit is quite important. I don't think it's ridiculously overpowered, but it is something that we we do need to really think of and it does need to be something that maybe the developers look into getting fixed. And there is kind of a bit of a concern there because the developers recently announced until Man the Guns is released, fixing bugs and fixing the game is going to be taking a backseat. So if there's any exploits to co discovered in that time, yeah, they're not going to be fixed for a while. And that's a real shame because I've got a few that um, really could do with getting fixed but this is the smallest one that i felt maybe i should probably show you guys because um i know that a few people are discovering it at the moment in the community so anyway i've been the spiffing brit i hope you've enjoyed the video make sure to build up as many troops as possible before you fire the civil war in germany that's my advice anyway if you enjoy the video give it a like if you want to join the community give it a subscribe and i will see you all in the next one also i might see you for the stream anyway have fun guys bye